Welcome to the end of month and start of the month uh, video for Get Electronic. A um, couple of things I want to touch on is data corruption on modules and to really actually explain what's happening with data corruption and how it actually happens. So a couple of myths around as well with uh, data corruption. Um, let's start with the EEPROM on a module. So this is the electronically erasable programmable memory. Um, and this particular one has four kilobyte of memory storage. And so if we read the data out of this, this module here, we can see the data on the PC here. And with the data, we a whole bunch of information gets stored inside of this, um, this EEPROM. So calibrations, mileage information, languages, um, how the system operates, and uh, all the other configuration stuff that needs to happen. So here we have a Nissan uh, instrument cluster. Common issue with these is fracturing um, on the, the back plane here. So as the fracturing occurs, which is fine, it's not a problem, um, as time passes, the customer may experience it dropping it in and out and doing all sorts of weird and wonderful, funky stuff. Um, but next minute, the uh, the odometer reads all nines and doesn't function. So that's a, that's a case of EEPROM corruption. Um, same thing with the Fiat Decato airbag modules. <clears throat> so when these fail, they will have a no communication or an internal error fault that occurs. And that's uh, obviously a problem. So what we're able to do is we'll take a, a clean dump and uh, put it in adjusted VIN information or kilometers to suit the particular module. Now, I just want to demonstrate another thing here. So if we take a USB flash drive, and this particular one has a, um, an LED to say the read or write cycles on it, so that's fantastic. It's only an eight gig. Um, if I take a file and dump it, dump it here in the desktop, this is now copying the data across, all right? So same thing as with a um, uh, rewriting the configuration file of an EEPROM on a vehicle. If you take the battery condition and sag it down and it can't successfully write that process, it'll corrupt the data. That's where the, the issue is with um, low battery states. Uh, jump starts are generically seen as a jump start, but it's actually a low battery voltage condition that actually causes the problem. Um, the only time a jump start is actually a problem is if you swap the battery positive and negatives around the wrong way and then that can cause damage but the actual jump start itself is, is purely just a low battery voltage um, situation. So if you're, you're constantly trying to crank over and it's a, at a low state you, you're more likely to cause a corruption on the, um, the data. So just to give you an idea of how much storage, so I'm just transferring over um, just over a gig of information here uh, on this flash drive that contains a total of eight gigs of memory. This one here has four kilobytes of, um, of memory storage. So four kilobytes, that's, um, uh, if we put that into context, a gig, sorry, a megabyte of storage is 1,000 kilobytes or 1,024 if you're um, uh, taking account in the form, formatting and whatnot. So that gives you an idea of the size, the data uh, capacity of, like, of, of this. Now we're not obviously running uh, music or video files uh, off one of these data storage devices. We're just storing configuration files such as uh, mileage, language, how the speedo operates with the pulses of the speed sensor going inside. Oh, well, thank you very much for your support and uh, supporting Get Electronic. Usually grateful uh, that you're using our services. Um, each month we're increasing our, our volume, volume of uh, repairs, which is fantastic. We're seeing a lot of weird and wonderful stuff, and more weird and wonderful is obviously more interesting to us. Um, so thank you again, and we'll see you next month.